Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes and I'm actually laying down on my bed as I record this. It's actually time for me to go to sleep. So I will record and there's a good chance that I will possibly fall asleep during this actual recording which uh, so when I get up in seven or eight hours <laughs> I'll uh, edit out the snoring and upload it onto the podcast and So I'm, I'm laying down on my bed and I've got my, I'm laying on my left side, my head's on the pillow, I usually find it's most comfortable to use a pillow for my head and my left leg is underneath the duvet and my right leg is above the duvet which is a position I quite like and my right arm is also on top of the duvet my left arm is just spread out and the back of my hand is touching the wall just resting against the wall and it's quite cool quite a cool wall I don't mean as in groovy just temperature wise My stomach's grumbling a bit. <sighs> Which sometimes happens when I go to bed. I feel really, really relaxed. And it just dawned on me that, of course, there's a possibility.
possibility of background sounds of some kind. It might be the sound of someone opening and closing the garden gate or a car starting or a plane going over in the sky, you know, that kind of stuff. Or maybe birds in the trees singing. But it's just dawned on me that apart from the fact none of that really matters because the the sense of comfort in relaxation calmness and pleasure even it's pleasurable that feeling's way stronger than any outside sound. Plus, because I'm laying on my side, only one of my ears is hearing the sound because the other one is muffled by the pillow. Which means, whatever sound in the background that there may be, is automatically 50% less. I'd never really thought of that before. I'm rather pleased with myself. give myself a pat on the back if I could reach I kind of wish I had a chocolate eclair in the fridge that I could eat to celebrate although that wouldn't really be ideal food probably any time really but especially not going to sleep stomach's making more sound than any outside background things I suppose maybe my my stomach made some kind of agreement with Andre Andre probably said to my stomach, well, if you make a recording, if, you know, when I'm in the other room and I'm not able to disturb or distract you by running around and moving things and, then, you know, making it so much noise as possible then maybe you, you, know, you can grumble a bit so my stomach and Andre have had a little agreement it sounds like although that might just be really weird so I'll gently move forward You know the idea that uh, the idea of a white, a white sound, an almost kind of static sound of static. Some people use that in order to sleep. What I actually quite like background sounds. Whether it's the wind, 
the rain, I love the weather when I'm in bed. I love a bit of rain, a bit of wind. Train, the, the distance, just like that. That's my impression of a train. I haven't rehearsed that impression. As you probably realised, it's... Well, if I hadn't said it was a train, you might not have known what it was that I was trying to verbally portray. Wick, 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 wick. Could have been anything, really. It almost, almost sounds like a... The sound of a species that hasn't... Hasn't been discovered yet. Maybe living in the rainforest. So... My body's relaxed. I wonder what your body feels like right now. And there's very little activity in my brain, which again probably comes across by the words that I am using because it's almost like it's almost like my brain was a bathtub Full of water and now the plug's been pulled and most of that water is gone. In fact, it's all gone. So I'm needing to turn the tap on to get some fresh water. And because the plug is still out of the plug hole, the water, which is the words that I'm saying, is just draining away as soon as it reaches the bottom of the bath tub, just drains into the plug hole and flows wherever water flows from the bath, I don't know, some magic reservoir in the garden or something, I don't know where it goes. And that's the thing, when I'm like this, I don't care. It's almost like I don't really care about anything. Not in a, a negative way, but just in a genuine, just don't care. <laughs> like nothing, there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to be concerned about. There's nothing to care about at this moment. Because all that stuff that may need my attention tomorrow will still be will still be there tomorrow. 
I'll still be able to think about things then. I don't need to walk to the window and look out into the garden and check that the tree is still there. I know it's there. And I know that it will be there the next time I look. So I don't need to think about it while I'm lying down on my bed. Just in the same way that you don't need to think about anything when you're laying down on your bed this just it's just you and your bed that's it. You don't need anything else. Just you and your bed. relationship between me and my bed. It's a nice relationship. We don't ask anything from each other. You just enjoy each other's company for seven or eight hours each day when I lay down and fall asleep so easily Just a real sense of enjoying this moment of calmness and at the same time not really
interested in this moment or any thing else as the world seems to just disappear Just uh, even when thoughts arise, I'm just so. Interested in them.
the fact that It's just water flowing naturally and without needing mm -hmm. 